Liberty Township, Ohio. I am headed your way Friday, February 16th and Saturday, February 17th. Winnipeg, my first time headed your way. I'll be there Friday, March 1st and Saturday, March 2nd. Omaha, we're going to do it this time. I promise you, last time we got our flights canceled. This time, we're taking a straight shot. I'll be there Friday, March 29th and Saturday, March 30th. Columbus, Ohio, I'm fired up to head your way. Never been there my first time coming to your beautiful city. I'll be there Friday, April 12th and Saturday, April 13th. Los Angeles, I'm excited to announce that I'm part of the Netflix is a Joke Festival. I have my own show Sunday, May 12th at the Bourbon Room. You guys ask me, how come you're not on Netflix? Well, here's a chance to sell this thing out and show them why I should be. Get your tickets now. Don't wait. All tickets available at ryansickler.com. Hey, baby, we're going to be here all day. We're going to be here all day, baby. I like this kind of party. Welcome back to The Way Back. I'm Ryan Sickler. Today's guest here in the back seat with me, Kevin Ryan, everybody. Hey, now. Thanks for Welcome having me, Welcome to The Way buddy. Back, buddy. Thank you for being here. You're perfect for this show. Well, first of all, tell me about growing up for you, because you told us on The Honeydew that your first and only memory of your parents together was them sitting down to tell you, hey, we're fucking out of here. It's over. We tried it. It didn't work. Yeah, that was my first, my first memory is them getting divorced, so... So what are like vacations or growing up? Like, are you bouncing back and forth? Back and forth a lot. Like we were split custody. It was good. You know, it was easy peasy for the most part. Did uh, you get the two Christmases? Two and all Christmases, that? which I fucking loved. Like I look back now and it's like, people are like, divorce was the best thing that happened to my family. They would have <laughs> killed each other or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And plus, you know, I got two Christmases. You know what I mean? I got to, and my dad would really. Because he was the one who was there was where, where there was money at times, so he would really show out and really try to like, and I would play it. I'd be like, "Mom, can I get a mini bike?" And she'd be like, "No." And then I'd, my dad would pick me up and I'd be like, "Mom said I can't get a mini bike." He's like, "Fucking Merry Getting Christmas, YZ, buddy." Why is he eighty today? <laughs> yeah, <but>. yeah. <laughs> dude. I I used it for BB guns, like anything, like fireworks. What your, tell me, what was your BB gun? Do you First remember what BB you had? gun was um the Red Rider. The re- really like yeah, the one. The, the, I think they might have branded it after that yeah. or something. I, I I forget exactly, but it was the Red Rider BB gun, the wooden thing. You know, the one pump. It was just one pump. It wasn't one of those like that you pump ten times, just like the quick action. Then I wanted some, you know, some walking around steel, so I got a handgun. <laughs> I I needed a sidearm in case shit went south. Uh, seven. You know what? <laughs> Had a holster for it. Was it a pellet gun? Or? No, it wasn't. It was the, cra- I think it was called like the Craftsman Bullseye or something. It's, it looked like a Glock. It was all black mm-hmm. and it had I the remember. thing you pull you back boom, boom. Yep. and then push in and that like loaded it. Um, and you pour the carton, of milk carton of BBs in yep, it. Yep, yep, yep. And then um, uh, after that, I got, there was this, it was sick, dude. It was like, it had a clip in the back that you put or on the top or something. It held se- 16 shots. Man, you couldn't, I thought I was in Magnum PI. You couldn't tell me shit, dude. Dude, we had, um, it's funny, our parents, my dad gave us guns, knives. It was a Daisy 880, 10 pump. Yeah, with the scope too. Yeah, there it is. Multi pump still out. Yeah, that's, that's the standard. That was cool gun. Yeah, yes. that was that's still their standard. And it's got 10 pump, but it's also the BB gun or pellets. You could individual pellets, the pellets or you could pour the fucking The pellets were in. a clear indication that you didn't have both parents. <laughs> The kids did have those. That was a dead giveaway that mom and or dad weren't in the picture. Nobody came from a good home with one Christmas that had a fucking pellet gun, dude. Nobody. That kid was from the wrong side of the tracks, dude. That was us, bro. Yeah. That was us. Yeah, that was like you were getting ready to fucking stick up a liquor store or something. Dude, we would play BB tag with these things. We did that shit too as put, you got older. We would put cookie sheets on our front and back, mm-hmm. and it was supposed to be one pump. And you could see it. If it's one pump, you can see it coming. Yeah, yes. But everybody was 10 pumping that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Pow, That's three pumps. Like, you pump it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was, I, yeah, I mean, there was nothing, I don't know if the kids have it now. I don't have kids. I don't know. But, like, the t- the back in the day, the time you would have, you would just have, like, your parents at the work in the summer. It's like, yeah, 12 hours or whatever with nothing to do and two BB guns. It's like, what did you, how did you think that day was going to end? 
What was a day like for you in the summer? You get up, you go outside, because you're out in the suburbs there. Out in the burbs. Uh, are you bike riding and playing ball, or are you just going in the woods? Did you guys have woods? Uh, woods, do big woods, Tell me big about woods, the woods crew. What's as, going on in the woods? As a younger kid, before like smoking and drinking, the woods was great. You were, in, you were building a treehouse in the woods. You'd find rope like swing. a little creek, a rope swing. Oh, I, my leg got real bad on a rope swing. I was eight. It was the last day of school, June 17th. I was, yeah, it was the last day of third grade, went to the woods, my friend's older brother and his, the, you know, a couple older kids, they're going rope swinging and on this rope swing they found from, you know, probably generations of teenagers ahead of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like two miles back in the woods down a huge hill. We ride our bikes down there. We fly down there. And it was like a celebration. Last day, we're going to jump in the, you know, we'd be rope swinging and we were doing it. It was fine. And then I jumped out like up the tree without the rope like just to jump in the water to like rinse off. I think that's what it was. And I went down with my knee bent and I hit a root or like a rock or something. Oh, and f- it fucking exploded. Like leg filled with Creek water. Look like a shark bite. Like, what? Yeah. Like horrible. That was me for the most <laughs> part. That was, that might've been me actually. I don't remember that. I, I don't remember that two piece. Two piece back in the day, <laughs> Had to keep the girls in line. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, and it just shattered your whole knee. It just blew it up, like Ugh. knee bone sticking out. I remember, like, seeing. I could see, like, down this far. It was like hanging over because it was so much. Fl- it was looked horrible. But now we're back in the woods, and I can't get out, like, because yeah. and it's downhill. Like, it's a guy. We drove down, so we got to go uphill, and everybody would push their bikes up. So I'm like, I'm fucking stuck. So luckily, my buddy was, uh, I mean, we used to ridicule him. Dude, in the 90s, he was in the Boy Scouts, and I mean, we just fucking ridiculed him. What are you gay? Was he in high school yeah, still in the Boy Scouts? But no, we're eight, and we're making fun of him. Like, we didn't even, it wasn't even cool then. Like, that's how much of savages we were. Yeah, we you were never I mean? wow. It's like, you're trying? I what are you doing? I always felt like, what are we doing over there with these Boy Scouts? Yeah, it's yeah. like, take that vest off, get a seat, <laughs> yeah. like, fucking do something. So luckily he was there, man, and he saved my leg. He was like, dude, he kicked in the fucking scouts honor mode. It was like, I saw I saw a picnic bench like two clicks back and he fucking sketched sca- me. Sca- sca- <laughs> I turn around and get the full badge on like, that's it's like this is a job for fucking Matt, everybody. Shut up and listen to Matt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Matt's fucking calling the shots around here, <laughs> slapping people around who aren't listening. So he fucking runs back. He gets the uh he gets the picnic bench. He kicks the legs off of it. Get the fuck I out swear of here. I swear to eight. He might be seven. <laughs> I was, he was probably He's seven. Like, I'm going to get that badge. I'm going to get this badge. <laughs> Dude, they put me on it. And he located a house. I he remember made a stretcher <laughs> out of it for Christ's sake. Seven. A Civil War cop. And my fat ass, I'm probably like a buck eighty at the time. <laughs> I need six fucking seven year olds to carry me for out. You, for Christ's sake. So they wrapped it up and they made a cot. They carried me. At the same time, he was he sent somebody. There was a house that we drove past, like deep in the woods, that he sent someone to that house. They drove their car as far as they could get it. It was an old woman. She was like 80. And they put me in the back of her car and she drove me out. And then we get to my buddy's house and his mom was a little, you know, loopy and she saw it. And then my mom shows up just so happened to be picking me up at that time. Like we all converged at the house at the same time. And she's like, I was just getting ready to take Kevin to the hospital. And my mom was like, what happened? She's like, he cut his knee in the woods. He needs a, a maybe a butterfly stitch or two. Dude, I'm talking. It looked like I had, it looked like I had, somebody put a hand grenade in my knee. And then my mom's like, "Okay, didn't open it up. It was still wrapped up." So we get to the we get to the hospital, and my mom's like, "Do you think you can walk in?" I'm like, "I don't know. This is pretty bad." She's like, "Let me see it." Dude, she faints. It's like she's like she fainted. Does, but she like <laughs> fucking. Dude, it, 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 she she was told it was a couple butterfly stitches, yeah, right. and then she's like, "My son's leg is dangling off." She runs in, get me, uh, you know, whatever. I ended up having, I asked the doctor, I said, how many stitches? He goes, I stopped counting after a thousand. A thousand? Because they had to do layers, layers so and did layers you, did and layers. So did you tear muscle? And- I lost one third of my patella tendon and something else. I did forget. Did they rebuild it? Did they give you a cadaver or anything? No, they just like fucking. Are you limited on that? Can you Not run? Not really. No. Yeah, it's all good. I'm pretty good, you know, for what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I, don't, <laughs> I probably couldn't make the Olympic team, but I'm all right. Did you ever rope swing again? Never rope swing again, but uh, 
It was one of those things. I didn't, I was too fat to be doing that. Like I tried to skateboard for years. I was like, I'm too, I, I was like, a, imagine I had the body of like a 30 year old plumber trying to jump downstairs. It's like, what are you doing to me? Yeah. I'm trying to like kick flip and it's like, I'm, you know, I got the ass of a fucking, of a plumber. So that didn't, I just kept getting hurt my whole life. And that. Yeah. Well, you said you had the injuries growing up. What other injuries? Uh, the, I, my fuck the, uh, Ooh, my yeah, hands. I was too. Hold that up. What yeah. Happened, was, I have there? here. So I broke this bone, and it's called like your navicular, your scaphoid bone or something. It's the bone that holds all the rest of the... Whatever I did, I wasn't like I just broke my radius or something. It was yeah, like... whatever you did, you blew you, it the fuck up. It's like you did the thing that you... The worst thing possible. Um, so I had surgery on that. I was in a cast for two years with that all through. But like still, I was like doing bike jumps and stuff like, like a fucking idiot. Um... That had a bone graft. There's a screw still in there. And then this, I had like, you know, do you ever see like people have the halo around yeah, their head? I had a friend that had that. I had that around my arm. They called it an external fixator. So there was two rods coming out here and Damn, two coming out I didn't here. Know you did that. I was in college. No, I was in, I'm sorry, I was in high school. 2005, fucking Eagles were in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday. I was fucking snowboarding at Big Boulder, Jack Frost in the Pocono Mountains. Pokenos. Pokenos. And uh, me and my buddy, we were doing one trick. You know, we were just, we were snowboarding for half the day. It was Super Bowl Sunday. We we're going to drive home that night and go to a party. And uh, I fell the last run. Like that's, you know, the last jump into the, the creek when I hurt my knee. Mm -hmm. That was the last jump. The last run, I fucked my arm up. And this bone came. It didn't break the skin, but it fucking it was like that it was out of like a 45 degree and angle. Had like that little cage around it. Yeah. But when I broke it, I, when I fell, they were like, you have to go. They, I went to like the ski tent or whatever, you know, the snow patrol. And they were like, well, we're bring the bring the ambulance around. Like, you need to go to the hospital now. And I was like, yo, the birds are in the fucking Super Bowl. I've broken enough bones that I know no one's going to do shit on Super Bowl Sunday night. Like, they're going to say you got to see an orthopedic on Monday or something. He ain't going to be happy and about he, or she if yeah. they got to be in there working on you. Yeah. Well, fuck yeah. I told my buddy, I said, bring the car around. We're fucking going home. Called my buddy on the way home who had a painkiller addiction. He squared me away with one. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dr. Feelgood met me at my house. <laughs> fucking 2 tree and M. Watched the game. Got up the next morning. Went to the fucking hospital and had surgery like the next day or whatever. And that's when they put all that shit in there. How and long was that on? Fucking eight weeks or something. Damn. Senior in high school. Fucking birds lost. Your jerk lost. Hand? No, it wasn't. It was, but... Uh, it's just like, yeah, it just it was fucking, it was gnarly. I was always doing shit I shouldn't have been doing in the woods, fucking bike jumps, all that shit as a kid. Very adventurous, but like I said, was so out of shape and so fat, no upper body strength, I couldn't do anything. Yeah, that, that's what I had. Oh, shit. Like yeah. that off the top, not all the way around. That I imagine yeah. being caged. Nah, just that, but mine was bent. So like, there was actually double the amount of bars because it went up. And it's what straightening Similar the bone out. And, yeah, and I don't know what the fuck they do. I don't know why they had to do it. And it worked. Huh? It worked. Yeah, I, I don't have any any leering issues. I'm sure fucking arthritis is going to kick it's in around coming, fifty. Brother. That's coming. And jam me up. I'm feeling every bit of that. Yeah, but it's like that. That was the shit I had. Man, that fucking brings back bad memories. Having my mom fucking button my pants and shit in the morning as a <laughs> senior in high school, dude. Bad. <laughs> And plus, I got like a gut, and she's going, "Do you go under it or above it?" I'm like, "Just fucking button them, lady." The fuck? Button in your pants sucked, sucked, dude. Just constantly hurt. Uh, but I was very, like I said, very adventurous. I was kind of left to my own devices early on because split in time. Like if I was on my mom, she was working. Latch you know, key kid. latchkey kid. I would wake up summer, twelve years old. Wake up. We were skateboarding and biking around that time. I, you know, probably hop on my bike and bike to my buddy's house. It was probably like thirty minute bike ride away. It was like you know a two minute car ride, but in the suburbs, so it's like you know fucking humping it. Go over there. His parents were gone. I think like his grandma would be there to watch the younger siblings or something. Steal a couple of her cigs. Go off into the woods. You know, we'd have like five bucks between both of us. We'd get you know a slice of pizza or whatever for lunch. You'd just be gone for hours and hours, hours and hours. That's all we did. We'd go out. You didn't call. No. You went to their house. I, you knocked on their door. You yeah. tried to get a pitcher, a batter, two infielders, two outfitters. If we could get five on a team, we would play automatic out 
if you don't fucking opposite fields and automatic out. Sure. You got to pull it. Uh huh. And then that's how we play half baseball. We that's would all you need. You'd figure it out. Capture that's the, thing. the flag. Oh, that shit was the best. Forts. Did you ever? Uh, it's so funny. When I grew up, we had streams all through Maryland. We called it cray fishing back then. We'd lift up the rocks and crayfish. Uh huh. And then. I come to learn they're crawfish. Sure. Well, we called them crayfish I've back heard then. both. I've heard crayfish and crawfish. I didn't know. I thought they were two different things. Yeah. They're the same thing. They're the same fucking thing, bro. We used to go in rivers all the time, little streams in Maryland, and you have to just gently pick up rocks, super slow, and they're under there. Mm -hmm. And then you got to fucking scoop them with a bucket or something. They swim backwards like lobster and shit. Yeah. But they're fun to fun to fucking try to catch. But we would every now and then you get one big fat. You'd be like, oh fuck, would baby you eat lobster. Them? Yeah, I, yeah, I mean yeah. I do now, but yeah. then I didn't. Then no, didn't, we yeah, were just yeah. kids catching. Just you know, around, you only yeah. catch like one or two. Sure, you're not gonna yeah, cook yeah, one yeah. or two. Of them, but though, you we're know what ripping I mean? them apart and ripping their fucking claws off. Sure, and, sure. You know, fucking swinging them from a rope and shit and something that a, cr a, a crayfish never thought it would do. <laughs> but man, we would catch big ones and then we would put them in like a bucket. And just watch them and shit and mm -hmm. give it a little bit of food and stuff. Or yeah, throw them yeah. in our fish tank. Like the neighborhood kids had fish. We throw them in the fish tank. Fresh just water. Something, looking to fill the time. That's it, dude. Looking to fill the time. Dude, we would build fuck ramps. Bees nest. You ever fuck with oh, bees dude, nest? What, dude, we found this one behind a Wawa. There we go. Man, it was the size of a fucking five-gallon bucket. <laughs> yeah, dude. And we <laughs> went to war with yeah, this thing yeah. for weeks. Yeah. Weeks in the summer. I'm what like, are you hitting? Right. Are you hit, running up and hitting it with sticks? Or no, it was so high hose? up. It was like 20. We were just in the woods. We had no tools. So we just rocks. You're just chucking rocks. So we get close. Everybody would get close, right? You'd creep up and you go, all right, one, two, three. And like you'd start running before it even left your hand. And man, you, we, you, it was, we never got it down. It, I'm telling you, it was two and a half feet. Probably been there for 30 years or whatever, you know, untouched. And we'd be winging fucking rocks at it. And you would hit it, man. And you would see them like fly out of the hole, come gunning for you dude. they know right dude, where we're that hitting is. the deck we're fucking <laughs> jumping behind logs and shit dude we used to fuck with we would get them on our house so they build them up underneath the the gutter or whatever yeah. and it was sometimes you get mud wasps that would build that little mud Ooh, trail on the wall those are you'd get sketchy. hornets we'd get yellow jackets but we would try to take the hose we'd hook it up outside but then go in the house and pull it in so we can uh, get through the yeah, window yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and try to shoot those motherfuckers Smart. or raid them or mm -hmm. whatever, light them on fire. Dude, my car got bees. The last car I had had <laughs> bees. How did it get bees? It, it was sitting in it was, it was my Mercury Montego. It was sitting at my mom's, at my parents' house for, for a minute because I was in New York. I couldn't afford to keep it there. The parking tickets, the whole nine yards. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm going back. I'm going to bring it up. And man, this thing. I opened the trunk. Fuck, these things came at me quick. It was when I was like talking. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I ran into the garage and I, I got raid or some some sort of chemical. I'm a big just get the closest chemical. Yeah. They, uh, raid kill them. Fucking pledge will kill them. So yeah. They're, they're going to get Fantastic's got. Fantastic's going to kill them. Yeah, yeah. little fabuloso. Uh, <laughs> fabuloso. And dude, yeah, I just doused the back of my trunk. And my car smelled like shit. For, it just smelled like chemicals for, you know, the next three years. But. Man, I remember now, goddamn, seventh grade, we had a science project. We were supposed to go collect something from the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother, Derek, and our buddy at the time, Steve Santafani, uh, we all go out That's into the woods. That's a great childhood friend uh, last name. There, there's a whole family of the Santafani. They're great people. They're great people. We go out into this little stream out back, and we decide we're going to catch, you know, just whatever, dirt and sediment and shit from the stream. We're going to bring it in, the class is going to look at mm -hmm. it. And then... I'm pretty sure it was my brother's like, we should pee in this. <laughs> and Classic I'm in seventh move. grade and I'm like, we should definitely pee oh, in yeah. this. But we're in science class. Could they tell? Like, I'm in my mind oh, like, yeah. can they tell it's our pee? You know sure. what I mean? Like, are they going to be able get in trouble? DNA test it? Dude, we take a, like a margarine thing. We go out, we scoop, and we all three piss in it. Okay? We put the lid on it. We take it into class, and every week, all week, they're doing these things. Mm -hmm. But ours doesn't get picked till like Thursday. And when he opened that oh. lid up, <laughs> that smells like a bathroom at Shea Stadium. This one here, and we're just looking at each other. We are dying. We have all the kids are fucking dropping it on the microscope. Look, they're studying it. We pissed it. Oh, <laughs> man, that's devious. Just pissed it is ridiculous. So stupid. <laughs> just pissed all in it. And then we're touching it. We're in there touching it. Like, yeah, look at all those uh, things yeah. moving in there. 
Dude, we were, like I said, big, I haven't thought about the woods in years, man. Big woods. Even snakes, you fuck with snakes. I didn't fuck with snakes, but we both, we would always, so we were in the suburbs and there was always construction happening because like, you know, people were moving out of the city and there was just new developments going up. So we would go ransack the fucking, the developments for materials, tools. We'd be fucking, we'd put it on skateboards or whatever and like push it down main streets mm-hmm. to get back into the woods, carry it back and just build forts. Man, that was another thing. We would, were the best. we would fuck up fucking the construction sites looking back. I mean, we would fuck them up. Dude, we found as like 11 year olds, three pallets full of caulk and you couldn't tell a shit. <laughs> Man, that shit went everywhere, dude. We were caulking the keyholes to the backhoes. <laughs> we were fucking just smashing it on the wall then putting tools on the wall. I mean, we were... At, that's great. But, like, that's what he's... We we're just filling time. It's like, oh, well, there you, go. you know, we got 30 packs of fucking caulk. My brother was more... My twin... So I have two brothers. I have a younger brother and I have a twin brother. My twin brother is fraternal twin. Mm-hmm. So one day I'm out cutting the grass. It's my turn to cut the grass. And the neighbor mom is yelling at me like, you fucking son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, whatever, lady. And she's like, you shot my bird feeder. I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Mm-hmm. But she's Kids so those adamant guns. that I've shot this bird feeder. Mm-hmm. I'm not thinking anything but fuck you, bitch. I didn't shoot sure. your bird feeder. I'm not thinking anything else, but sure. I didn't shoot your bird feeder. So I go in. My brother and our, our friend at the time, Jeff Wagner, they're playing Nintendo 64. I'm like, fucking lady next door yelling at me about shooting her bird feeder. Mm-hmm. And they start dying laughing. I'm like, you fucking pieces of shit. I'm like, what are you doing? Like we've been sitting in dad's room because they his my dad had a side window and it went right over to their deck and mm-hmm. she had a bird feeder and they're just pellet gun it through it. the fucking wall. She she knows. So these motherfuckers think it's so funny that I'm getting yelled at mm-hmm. for it. And then we put the motor on the boat because we're going crabbing in the morning. Sure. And we run to the store and when we come back. Guess what ain't on the boat anymore? The motor. The motor. And guess who fucking took it? That old bitch? Not only her, she had two like twenty some year old sons Damn. that knew and they took that. F- I respect my the dad's, move. My dad's like, what the fuck happened to my brother ain't saying <laughs> shit. Sure, yeah, like, yeah. why don't you tell him about that fucking bird feeder uh-huh. you all been shooting over there, you motherfucker? Damn. Stole but the fucking he would motor. Catch snakes, dude. Yeah, stole the motor. He would, my brother would catch snakes, bring them in the house. There was one time where we went to the doctor for my younger brother. My mother's like, You guys coming in? We're like, We're sitting in the car. My brother and I in the back seat. They get out. We're still sitting in the back seat. This motherfucker reaches in his pocket and pulls out a snake. Oh, fuck. I'm that. like, Where? Where are you getting that? And he's like, It was in a bush out front before we left. But he's always like that. Yeah. Didn't care. Wasn't scared of any of that shit. Didn't give a fuck about any of it. I had a pet snake one time. My cousin came. My cousin worked at a pet shop, and like, I guess someone. The story I heard was like someone traded in a snake for something else. Like they had a snake, and they were like, "I want that lizard." He's like, "All right, well, I'll, I can do fifty in the snake type." Yeah, you know what I mean? Give me like, fifty. I'll give you the beard of dragon. Sure. Give me that snake. So he got this snake, and he gave it to me for my birthday. And we had it in like a 20 gallon aquarium, like from the, we had from like a fish tank or something, put it in the aquarium. And then that same night, like that night he gave it to me, we go to bed, we wake up and had babies overnight and they little, they're like this big, but they can crawl up through the fucking vents. Oh shit. I didn't and think of that. all over the kitchen counter. Nah. They're, How many? It, it seemed like 60. <laughs> Like snakes, little fucking. They were no, dude. They were like this big. That. Just dude. They were in the fruit bowl in the on the Martin's potato. Roll. They were all <laughs> over in the sink. Ah, they I were still everywhere, still dude. Potato. My mom was flipping the. I work all goddamn day to come home to snakes. snakes. Like who gets snakes? People get. Mo- we had snake, dude. We, we were finding them for them. fucking. And then you got to go to the pet store and get the baby mice and oh. feed the fucking snakes. Nah, we did that. My mom was like, "You're getting rid of this fucking." First of all, the snake is staying in the garage or out back. She's no longer allowed in the house. One night, my brother had a black snake in an aquarium downstairs, and it got out. Jeez. And all I wanted to do. The night that we're gonna, the next day we've got a, we get a black rubber snake and mm-hmm. we want to sneak in her room and just, just lay it on the bed and then just, not even aggressively, just to, mom, mm-hmm. mom, and oh, hit her nuts. with it. And that fucking day, there's a guy that comes over and we got a deep freeze down in the basement mm-hmm. where we keep our meats and our bull lips for crabbing in sure. a bushel basket. Cause why wouldn't you keep those two things together? Mm-hmm, yeah. And uh, we hear this dude, ah! 
out and my brother goes, my snake. He knew right away. He runs down. Fucking dude found a snake. And I was like, God damn. Man, damn. We can't do that shit to mom. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. God damn. These sicklers play it fast and loose. Dude, my dude. brother one time. he fucking, a scene from Kill Bill anyway? This is how my brother was. The snake ends up killing this little rat. It doesn't, you know, won't eat anything mm-hmm. dead. It kills it. My brother's like, fuck that. He, I spent my grass cutting money. So he ties fishing string to the rat's tail and he just starts making it dance in the cage. Uh huh. And that fucking snake, bah, he's damn. hitting it. The guts are coming out of it and he finally fucking eats the thing. And I was like, God damn. My brother had Smart. reached in and the snake bit him. And I'm ne- I still to this day, I'll never forget this. This motherfucker, I told him, if that snake mm-hmm. would have bit me, I'd have been like, oh, oh I'm going to hospital. Mm-hmm. He didn't even look. He didn't even look at it. He just, he just looked right at the snake like, I was like, you're a fucking oh, psychopath. Dude. I ain't got that gene in no, me. No, me either. I don't no, like snakes. Twin, I don't, I don't like birds. I don't like nothing. Birds are too unpredictable. <laughs> well, no one should have a pet bird anyway. Pet birds? No, I'm talking even pigeons. There's one in my building that's lost. And I'm like, that's gone. Oh, yeah, that's gone. Like, lost hey, bird. reward if you find it. That bird is gone. People, Anybody post lost bird, I'm like, that bird's gone, yeah. man. Yeah. People who have loose birds as pets is fucking nuts. I'll never understand that. Walk into a house, they're like, that's my cockatoo. You're like, fucking. Yeah, unless the door gets I'm open out too later. Long. Yeah, yeah fucking your cockatoo. It's me or the cockatoo, buddy. Yeah. I, mean, I don't, I'm not even that good of friends with you. Got any ghost stories? The only thing, well, there was one. I was staying at a show, I was doing a show in, uh, I think Foley was with us. We were doing a show, I don't know if this was the same time or not. I was doing a show in upstate Pennsylvania in like Easton or something, like Allentown up that way. And uh, we were staying at this place called the Sayer Mansion. And. It was a haunted Airbnb or a haunted bed and breakfast. Same. That's and a, like anytime you hear that shit, the, were the rooms named after a person? I don't remember. Like Delilah. Yeah, I, oh, dude, if it was, I wasn't. I, That's where we were. Bro. So there was what? There was like five of us staying in the one room. One of those gigs of like, we'll give you a hundred bucks yeah. and a hotel room. We're like, cool. Yeah, there it is. The Sayer Mansion. And, um, it looks haunted, dude. Yeah. No, they say, like, you walk in, they're like, welcome to the, the haunted mansion or what? You're like, oh, fuck really? this. I don't, like, I'm not a guy who believes in ghosts unless I'm staying at a fucking haunted mansion. You know what I mean? Like, right now, I don't believe in ghosts, no. but at the Sayer Mansion, I'm, my fucking head's on a swivel. So we're asking, and, like, they have the stories in the, the, in the lobby of, like, this eight year old died here, this 10 year old died here, this 30 year old died, like, seven. I mean, this, but they've been, people just been dying in this place. <laughs> so then I go, uh, <laughs> dude. Uh, we were taking an Uber back from, I think I was getting pizza or something for everybody. We're all meeting back after the show. And this taxi driver, I'm like, do you know anything about it? He's like, you're staying at the Sayer Mansion? I'm like, oh, fuck me, dude. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, is that place haunted? He's like, no. And I'm like, what? He goes, I was like, did you ever see anything weird there? And he's like, no. He goes, I, he goes, oh, I used to be a part of it. I lived there for like five years in the 80s. I'm like, you ever seen anything weird there? Anything I should be afraid of? And he's like, nah. I go, nothing weird? He's like, nah. He's like, well, my roommate was stabbed to death in the bathroom. I'm like, <laughs> I, had to, I had to press you to fucking remember that? <laughs> like, that wasn't like, yeah. He gave you, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this. Yeah. And I was like, I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, yeah, nah, it was a dispute over money or something. I'm like, okay. We got back to that Airbnb, dude. We took t- we took turns staying up like every hour. <laughs> we got back to ours. I, I packed up the family in the middle of the night. Later? At 1 a.m. No, I was like, yeah, we're I get out of that. here. We're out. You can sleep on the ride home. We're I, out. I get that. We got yep. too drunk, and I think we were like, we'll all just get drunk and pat, like, you know, pass out. But somebody had to, somebody stayed up the whole entire time. And, like, we got up with that sun up and got the fuck out of there. Dude, thank you for doing this. this thank has been you, great. buddy. I appreciate it. I fucking it. love Please you, man. Please plug and promote everything you'd like. Yeah, uh, our podcast is Are You Garbage? It's wherever you get your podcast there. Um, and also that we're on tour right now. We do uh, stand-up comedy. Like We co-headline me and uh, me and H. Foley co-headline and then play AYG with the crowd. It's a good time, gang. Check it out. At Kevin Ryan Comedy on all the social media and Are You Garbage? Uh, dot com for tickets and episodes hell yeah all right as always ryan sickler.com ryan sickler all social media talk to y'all next week